Hey, my name's Ryan McRobb. I'm a educator, musician, and composer. So um, I'm just doing this little tutorial on how to make hidden backing tracks in Sibelius. So question one, why on earth would you do that? Hide a backing track in Sibelius. So here's my reason anyway. There's a few reasons you could possibly want, but so here's what I did. So I was in a situation where I was, had a three-week composition, a blues composition project planned with some year nine, so a bunch of kids who had played their instruments for a few years, 14, 15 year olds, they hadn't, most of them hadn't learned blues scale before, most of them didn't know 12 bar blues before, and none of them had done Sibelius before. So a lot of new things, and all of a sudden my three weeks turned into about a little over one week. So um, I thought, well, how can I just jump in the deep end, make this really quick and really engaging, really um, energetic and, and, and fun. So um, here's what I came up with the idea of hiding a backing track in Sibelius. So when they write their blues melody using their newly learned blues scale, they can see the context of it immediately because I can hear the interrelationship of the melody and the chords immediately. Um, and without having to muck around writing their own backing track or even seeing the backing track on the screen, because that you know that can, you can muck that up easy. There's a lot of things that kids can press that can muck it up and just be, you know, get some annoying tech issues that just aren't serving anyone. So here is what I created. Okay, this really boring looking template. So it um, looks pretty boring. But um, if I press play, you can hear I've made a uh, backing track there. Okay, so just of drums and piano and that's it. And what I was getting to the kids to do, the kids wouldn't actually get their top line, the kids would insert their own instrument, whatever that may be. I've just randomly have a clarinet in here, this one. And then they then write their blues melody over the top and then write a bass line here. Okay, so they just use their blues guitar to make that and outline the chords um, of the baseline here. So they're thinking about those two things, but that's not the point of this. So, um, I'll just quickly show you a few examples. So here's a nice, simple, finished, um, composition that someone did. Um, actually this is not the simple one, but that's okay. This is the quite advanced one. So she went and did, um, you know, a few extra instruments, nice baseline, first time, second time bars lots of expression and articulation. So I was really pleased with that one. And here's a much simpler one. Um, a bit more sort of what I expected to happen um, here. Oops, that's kind of not really what. Not sure what's going on there. Let's just forget we even looked at that. <laughs> okay, um, let's move on. So let's go to this one. So anyway, the point is hidden back and tracks and how we do it. So. Here's how we do it. So select everything. Oh, I'm just gonna work backwards for a moment. Select everything. And then we go to layout and show empty staves. And you can see there's a piano part and a drum set in here that you can't see. So we wanna see them, so we go to okay. Now we can see them. Okay, so cl click the first top left hand um, hidden track and then shift click to select everything in between. And then you simply go right click, show, hide. And then we can see it. Now to hide your backing track, you want to work backwards from that. So once it works for me, there we go. Um, first one, shift, click, second one. Once it works, there we go, very good. Right click, hide a show, we want to hide that. Then we go to layout and hide empty staves. Boom, and then we've got a backing track that we can see, but we, we can hear, but we can't see, okay? So much more, much more useful for my purposes anyway. So that was that. So just really quickly, that was um, show or hide this one here and then hide empty staves to make them disappear properly and the reverse to make them uh, come back. So that was how you do a hidden backing track in Sibelius. So I'm happy to provide those files that I showed you if you just want to make a comment. Um, or talk about the uh, composition and talk about the sort of teaching and pedagogy behind that a little deeper if you'd like to too. But anyway, I hope that was an interesting little uh, idea for you and um, let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. Cheers, thanks so much and um, yeah, hope to chat to you again soon. Cheers, thank you.